We got this. We got it. So we're starting right off because we want to know what's up with Lincoln and Octavia. We know they're on Lincoln their own. Lincoln and Octavia are on their own in the forest. They are abandoned. They are on their own. Octavia has a, an arrow in her leg. And from season one, we remember that injuries aren't quite as they seem. They're not that simple. And so things are going to get complicated very quickly. So from the off, we're going to learn a little bit more about the world and a little bit more about the two's relationship. Um, something bad is, is probably going to happen. Um, and then for the whole season, it's just going to get darker. You know, they're going to be really put through the paces. Um, Lincoln's always had a moral compass. He's always been a good guy. This is going to be challenged in season two. You know, he's going to... He's, He's going to go through some very bad times. I've been pitched a story by Jason Robertberg and our writers that I'm going to have to go home, I'm going to have to study, research, and really do my homework because the material they've given me is going to be very dark. It's something I've never done before, and it's something that I want to really give, you know, give 110%. Um, you know, it's nice when producers and writers trust you with such material, and um, you know, I, I feel honoured and. and Challenged. That's what you want as an actor. You want to be challenged. And so the storylines for season two are very dark, darker than season one, where we're twelve-year-olds jumping off cliffs, we're hanging kids, we're getting stabbed, we're torturing innocent people. That's Disneyland. Season two is darker, but, and that's just three episodes of the story that I've been pitched. So I already know that season two is bringing it. And after the finale, it was kind of like, where'd you go from here? They answered it. They've answered it. It gets dark straight away. So. It's nice to be challenged, and, and I'm looking forward to it. I mean, can you just talk about becoming a series regular that has to... That um, has to yeah. I mean, obviously that's an honor. It's, it's, it's an honor to be you know, part of this show, an Emmy-nominated show already in its first season. Um, but it doesn't keep you safe. I think we saw last year that just because you're a series regular, you can be gone. You can be gone at any time. And that, that's going to be true this season. You know, we, Nobody is safe. And, you know, I doubt everyone's going to survive. Um, but on a personal level, it really is a blessing and honor. And it's, like I say, to be part of a show that I would watch anyway if I wasn't in, and to be a character that I would choose if I wasn't in this show. You know? I watch it and I I want to be Lincoln in The 100 because he's exciting, he's different, he's a warrior, he doesn't speak, he's got this mystique where, you know, the unspoken word is more, str is more stronger than, than, than any dialogue. Speaking of dialogue, he's got this whole grammar language that's going to be season two. So there's a lot of strings to the bow, there's a lot of layers, and it's exciting. I'm looking forward to you know, really bringing it second, second uh, season.